Well, I, I feel <laughs> like Steven, I, and I'm not going to call him a clown. I'm not going to call him any kind of name, but all I'm going to say is... Like, What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. To our regular viewers, thank you very much. We really appreciate the support. To our new viewers, welcome, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Our target is a 1,000 likes, so support us by liking the video. So Steven A's recent comments on ESPN's first take about Tua Tagovailoa has got people in the NFL community talking. Steven A implied that Tua owes a lot of his success to standout players, particularly hinting at Tyreek Hill rather than Tua's individual skill set. However, Tyreek Hill, the one seen by Steven A as the real MVP of the Dolphins, was quick to come to Tua's defense. He did it on his podcast, saying that he's sick and tired of people bashing his quarterback for no reason. He shed light on Tua's challenging journey, his obstacles from the previous year, and his commendable growth to now being part of the MVP conversation. So that you're all on the same page, let's first listen to Stephen Smith, then listen to Tariq Hill's response. I don't know if y'all watching Miami enough. All of these passes, 8 for 19, 20, 30, 40 nah. yards. You just got Tua dipping it two yards to him, and he the one taking it to the house. Well, I, I feel <laughs> like Steven, I, and I'm not going to call him a clown. I'm not going to call him any kind of name. But all I'm going to say is, like, Stephen A. Smith, man, like, he just watched, like, I feel like he just taking words from – to me, I don't really know what to say, but if you really just watch the games and just watch how we play – like, none of our routes are really, like, two yards. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. as a quarterback, it's, it's, the quarterback is, like, the hardest position in, in the league. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And for a guy to be even considered to be MVP, like, that's next level. And for mm-hmm. Stephen A. Smith to go out his way and just say that Tua isn't worthy of being, like, an MVP is, like, it's, like, crazy. It's crazy to me, mm-hmm. man, because if you look at all of the list of the quarterbacks besides Lamar Jackson, all of the – you know, past MVPs, like, they had guys, they had receivers, like, throw the mm-hmm. ball to, like, and we know the names, I'm not going to sit up here and name them, but, like, just because a guy has talent around him now and he's succeeding, like, it doesn't mean that he's not worthy of being a, um, a candidate, of, candidate of MVP. It's just, I don't know, I, I don't I don't know if to take it, man, because all of my receptions last week was over 30 yards. You feel me? Either 25 yards or 30 yards. So, what do you think about it? I don't know what games he's been watching because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, literally two yards. What, what, you would, what, what size you, what, 10, 10 and a half, 10 and a half, I'm a 10, 10 and a half. Yeah. That's two steps, bro. Right. Like, <laughs> that's not very far. So to say that, and I, I know he was just being, he was, he was obviously embellishing a little bit um, yeah. or exaggerating yeah. that whole three yard situation. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure, and I know he meant, you know, short passes, then you take to the house. But, you know, if you look at some of the MVPs in the past, that's where they excelled at, you know, short routes, quick downs, and keep the ball movement. And they got called, considered the GOAT, you know, Tom Brady. Not saying he didn't have an arm because he did, but if you go back and you watch his film, you watch his Super Bowls, you watch his entire yeah. career, you mm-hmm. never just seen him saying, I'm a gunslinger, I'm going 40 yards every other place. So I, I think it's an unfair criticism of Tua. I think um, – and sometimes in, in, in life is just a thing to do in the moment for ratings. Does Do I really think he believes that? I yeah. honestly don't think he believes that yeah. when he goes home at the end of the day by any means. I don't. Yeah, 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 because that's what's hot now. But I'm sick and tired of people bashing my quarterback, man, for no reason. I'm sick of it. I'm standing on the table and saying right now I'm sick of people bashing my quarterback, man. He's been doing a hell of a job this year, and people need to stop giving him crap. You feel me? Like, a lot of people don't understand what my dog went through just to get here, man. Like what he went through last year, especially, and to get to where he is now, being talked about as an MVP, that's next level, man. I, I don't know too many quarterbacks that's doing it. I, I don't. I'm sorry. You know what's the scariest part about that is he got injured last year, some severe injuries, some severe concussions that, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of people's like, oh, he shouldn't have been playing, he shouldn't have been doing this, he won't come back off of that. I don't know what they thought this guy was built from or what kind of cloth he made out of or what his upbringing is. Tua tough. Tua T is tough, and I think he's making a statement. I think, I think he has that, that edge on him. Now, I don't know if it's the tattoo, the tribal tattoo he came back with or what, <laughs> but he definitely got some edge to him. Yeah. And I- what do you think about this? Please drop a comment. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thank you.